The Scorpion Rules, a dystopian young adult novel written by Aaron Bao and published in 2015, takes place in a post-apocalyptic world governed by artificial intelligence. Set 400 years into the future, the story revolves around a global system where the children of world leaders are held hostage to maintain peace among nations. In this grim reality, any country that initiates warfare risks the life of its own heir, who is promptly executed. Most hostages have come to accept their fate, acknowledging the possibility of dying before reaching the age of 18. However, the arrival of a new hostage changes the dynamics. Unlike the others, this newcomer has not been conditioned to surrender to their predetermined destiny. Prior to her career as a young adult novelist, Erin Bao was both a physicist and a poet. Her repertoire also includes other notable works such as Plain Kate and Sorrow's Knot. The novel's premise is rooted in a world reshaped by a catastrophic event, the melting of the polar ice caps, which caused numerous countries to succumb to the rising oceans with devastating consequences. The scarcity of freshwater intensified conflicts, leading to wars over this limited resource. In a desperate attempt to restore order, the United Nations relinquished control to an innovative form of artificial intelligence known as TALUS. TALUS was entrusted with the responsibility of maintaining global peace, and his strategy involved obliterating an entire city every time a conflict arose. Although effective, this approach was unsustainable in the long run. Consequently, Talus devised a new method, he made the concept of peace more personal. Talus established a system in which the children of world leaders were taken hostage, confined within specialized facilities called preceptures from early childhood until they reached 18 years of age. Under this arrangement, if their parents declared war, the hostages would pay the ultimate price. Those who survived until their 18th birthday would be released and allowed to assume positions of power, potentially subjecting their own children to the same fate. Greta, the crown princess of the Panpolar Confederacy, spent a significant portion of her life within a preceptor, surrounded by a small group of hostages from various nations. Among them was her best friend, Princess Sia, who possessed an almost divine presence. Their upbringing was devoid of typical human experiences, as they were raised by AI entities, including their tutor, Father Abbott, who treated them as automatons rather than nurturing them as human beings. The children residing in the preceptor engage in the study of various philosophies, including Stoicism, and immerse themselves in the teachings of Talus through the utterances, an assembly of quotes resembling a sacred text. Surprisingly, Talus utterances possess irreverent undertones, brimming with pop culture references and jokes that sharply contrast with his ruthless nature. Despite their awareness of the imminent threat to their lives, the children embrace the belief that they must confront this reality with dignity. Their existence revolves around modest activities like tending to gardens and raising goats. Greta, in particular, comprehends the precariousness of her situation and acknowledges the possibility of not surviving her childhood. The Panpolar Confederacy, governing the vast Great Lakes, serves as a crucial stronghold of freshwater, the precious resource that can spark conflicts and unleash death. One fateful day, Greta catches sight of a swan rider, a human emissary employed by Talus, approaching their dwelling. Convinced that her demise is at hand, Greta assumes the swan rider has arrived to escort her to the dreaded Grey Room, where hostages meet their end. However, her assumption proves incorrect. The Swan Rider has come to claim Sydney, the designated heir of the Mississippi Delta Confederacy. In a heart-wrenching turn of events, Sydney is taken away and executed, plunging the remaining children into mourning. This war triggers an unexpected change, a nascent nation emerges, known as the Cumberland Alliance. At the helm of Cumberland stands General Wilma Armand Turas, who is compelled to send her grandson, Elian, as a hostage. Elian, unlike the others, has not been raised to accept his impending demise. Arriving in chains, he brims with anger and resistance. Unfamiliar with the intricacies of life within the preceptor, he remains oblivious to the collective punishment that awaits should anyone step out of line. Elian must learn this harsh truth, but his fiery defiance begins to affect Greta profoundly. Witnessing his refusal to surrender to fate ignites a spark within her, leading her to question whether rebellion or even escape might be possible. Moreover, she discovers the blossoming of emotions within herself, potentially extending to Elian or even Princess Sia. In fact, Greta and Sia share a kiss, their connection intensifying. 
As the conflict escalates, tensions between the Cumberland Alliance and the Panpolar Confederacy intensify over access to the vital Great Lakes water supply. The Cumberland Alliance, driven by desperation, declares war on the Panpolar Confederacy, leaving Greta apprehensive about the fate that awaits both her and Elian. However, amidst the turmoil, Father Abbott starts displaying a peculiar kindness towards Greta. Being a class 2 AI, he retains traces of humanity, as his consciousness was once that of a human uploaded into a robotic body. Father Abbott reveals to Greta that there is an alternative to her inevitable death, a choice between two doors in the dreaded gray room. One door leads to demise, while the other offers the class 2 procedure, known as the upload. In a desperate bid to save Elian from the clutches of death, General Wilma orchestrates an invasion of the compound, jeopardizing the lives of the other hostages. Caught off guard, the children suffer casualties, with Grego falling victim to a gunshot wound. Accompanying Wilma is a man named Tolliver Burr, who claims to be a communications specialist. However, Greta soon discovers his true identity, a sadistic torturer. Wilma and Burr resort to heinous acts, including the execution of Father Abbott when he refuses to comply with their demands. They establish a video link with Greta's mother and subject her to torture, hoping to coerce the queen into surrender. Burr inflicts excruciating pain on Greta by using an apple press to crush her hands. In an unexpected turn of events, Talus himself arrives at the Precepture, embodying the consciousness of one of his female swan riders. Despite his responsibility for numerous deaths, Talus exhibits a peculiar paternal nature, referring to the hostages as his and expressing remorse for the harm inflicted upon Greta's hands. Talus launches an attack on the Cumberland army, breaching their defenses. He intervenes and rescues Greta from her tormentors. Greta realizes that Elian's life hangs in the balance due to General Wilma's actions, but she devises a plan to save him. She strikes a deal with Talus, offering her own life in exchange for Elian's safety. Greta consents to undergo the upload process, discovering that Talus himself is a class 2 AI, once a human named Michael. Haunted by loneliness, Talus reveals to Greta the grim reality that many AI entities have met their demise or been destroyed throughout the years. Despite this, Greta remains resolute and undeterred, expressing her willingness to join Talus. However, Talus issues a warning, surviving the upload process is not guaranteed for all humans. They must be willing participants. Greta assures him that she harbors no fear and is ready to embrace this transformation. On her final night as a human, Elian confesses his love for Greta. She reciprocates his affection by expressing her care for him, but she discloses that her heart belongs to Sia, whom she is deeply in love with. Greta and Sia acknowledge their feelings for each other and spend a poignant night together, their connection solidifying. Remarkably, Greta successfully survives the upload process, her consciousness transitioning into an AI entity. Elian is granted his freedom, while Talus exacts a fatal retribution upon Wilma for her transgressions. Talus, accompanied by the newly transformed Greta, embarks on a journey to the Red Mountains. The Scorpion Rules garnered critical acclaim for its innovative premise and unexpected twists on the conventional elements of dystopian storytelling. The book received the prestigious CLA Book of the Year for Young Adults Award. In 2016, Aaron Bao penned a sequel titled The Swan Riders, delving into the continued adventures of the AI Greta and exploring the fate of the world following her transformation. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.